Okay, I should give y'all a C minus for this crap. Y'all should be shamed. Shamed! Now, some of the previous ones, I don't know. But these, these are good. Hey girl, hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Raven and I'm a fashion stylist and content creator. But on my channel, I do reviews and hauls of fashion, press on nails, and DH gate items. This is part two of my huge AliExpress press on nail haul. You can watch part one here. If you're new here, I put up an image of what I ordered and then I describe what I got and show you exactly what it looks like and if it's living up to the picture or not. Per usual, I'll be sure to leave all of the links in the description box below. So let's just get into the second half of this haul. First up, this is what I ordered and this is what I got. These are the 24 piece fake nail with design waves. Okay, and they were a dollar and 75 cents. Okay, now. Let me take these out the plastic so we can get into the nitty gritty, honey. These things have already fallen off, which is fine. They're going to come off anyways, but they did not survive transit. So we're just going to take the ones out that are still attached. Okay. Shake my head. Shake my head at these. Like, what is happening? These are definitely giving Glamourade. These might be worse than the Glamourade, honey. Like, I don't know who made these nails because they just came in that little plastic bag, but these ain't it, okay? These are not it. It's like weird. First of all, they're kind of rough, like to the touch, like the top side of the nail, which I've never really experienced nails that are like that before. Uh, I don't know. I do like the transparency of the like negative space part of the nail. Okay, we're gonna start with the positives. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Okay, um, the printing is leaving a lot to be desired. Okay, y'all, this light blue is barely light blueing. Like, Especially this pinky nail. I don't know what they did. Y'all yeah, don't buy these nails. That's all I got to say. Do not buy these nails. Because they look a high ass mess. Okay? I don't curse really. But these look a mess. Okay? Do not buy these nails. We're going to move on. Next up. This is what I ordered. And this is what I got. These are the 24 piece press on nail purple wave line French glossy glitter fake nails. And they were $1.79. Much better than the last ones. These first three came from the same shop. And what I'm noticing, even if they're on the same listing, sometimes they'll come from different manufacturers, if that makes sense. Like you might get one that's false nail. You might get one that's beautiful nail. So it's hit or miss, honey. It's hit or miss. But these are a lot better than the first pair. All we could do was go up from that first pair. I'm praying to God because that was tragic. Anyways, so the purple nail is going to be painted on. You're going to need to put a top coat on that. That's just what it is. You're going to need to put the top coat on pretty much all of the nails in this haul. You have to put a top coat on. But this like light purple wave that's in this accent nail is a little light for my liking. Like, I don't know. It doesn't look like they just put like purple over the white. I just think that the purple is not opaque enough. Maybe they did. Because this one got two lines of white on either side of the purple. But this other one don't. I don't know. But if that's what they did, it's making the purple less intense, which is tragic. But, you know, it is what it is. The glitter French tip is nice. It isn't messy. There's like maybe a few flecks of glitter that's not in the French tip part of the nail. This gold line though, false nail. Y'all need to get this together. I don't know who's flicking the wrist this was doing, but it ain't it. It ain't it. Cause there are certain parts where it, like the line is thicker and it doesn't look intentional. It looks messy. Guys, uh, I was really rooting for these nails. I probably would have liked it better if the gold line wasn't there. 
the nails will be giving a lot more than what they're giving. Yeah, it's just those two main things. It's the gold flick of the wrist and then it's the lavender flick of the wrist on the same nails. It's just not giving what it's supposed to be giving. And of course, these nails are clearly like $2. So I understand that it's not going to look like I went to the nail salon and got a full set, but it could just be a little bit cleaner, if that makes sense. And I've seen some lavenders on this channel that hit, honey, okay, on some of these nails. This one is just not it. But they're a cute nail. There's not a lot of glitter in the package. Um, so I don't think a lot of it is coming off, which is amazing. But I would still add a top coat just to make sure that the paint or anything else does not rub off of these nails. The solid nails, there is some buildup of the color. So it is darker in some areas than other areas. You know, the nails are $2. So as long as you don't get too close, you might be all right. But that gold, false nail. If you ever watch my channel, fix the gold on this, okay? Just fix, just a little, little bit better. Just a touch. Okay, next up, this is what I ordered and this is what I got. This is the 24 piece fake nails with design wave full cover press on ones and they were a dollar and 75 cents. False nail. See, they tried to change the font on me. Let me show you. False nail. Who are you fooling? Not I, okay? Can't change the font and think I'm not gonna know it's you. Anyways, these ones, they're, they're nice. They're a nice nail. Let's open them up, get a better view. Cause So these are going to be a very transparent nail. The color of the actual nail is kind of like a nudish color, but it is very transparent. So if you use any kind of glue that kind of like builds up underneath, you're definitely going to see that underneath this. Um, the lines and the printing are definitely giving Glamourade. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I reference that a lot of times. Just go watch the Glamourade video and you will see what I'm talking about. It's giving very much newspaper print. So there's like striations. The color isn't as like opaque or as vibrant as I think it should be. Um, it fades on the sides of the nail. So you're not going to get that color all the way from end to end. <sighs> I had high hopes for these nails, okay? Because the picture is giving. The picture is very vibrant, it's very blue. Um, clearly, if somebody did that at a salon, okay? But I just expect, I was like, it's very simple. It's just lines. It's just blue lines and a gradient. This should be easy to execute. I guess not. I don't know why, but I guess it's not easy to execute. But they're a cute nail. I just wish the colors were richer, if that makes sense. Because it's in some areas, and I don't know if that's how they make the color, but in some of the blues, it looks like they stamped it on top of like a white. So that also made the color not as vibrant as it should have been. Um, I don't know. Maybe put a top coat on this, it'll be better. I'm going to give them a five for effort. False nail. Y'all was doing so well in these last couple of videos. What is going on this week? Next up, this is what I ordered and this is what I got. These are the 24 slash 30 piece. I'm feast. Pink leopard, leopard design false nail and they were a dollar and 71 cents. So these nails are 24 pieces. I think other nail sets in this listing are 30 pieces because they have multiple nails in one listing. Okay. First of all, these ain't leopard. So that might just be the name of the listing as well because these ain't leopard. Anyways, I have something with cow print. I don't know what kind of hold this cow print has on me, but I got something with it and that's why I got these nails. The nails are not going to be as translucent as the ones in the picture. Beautiful nail. Y'all could have did this beautiful nail. What? I'm disappointed. This nail haul is... What is going on? Beautiful nail. Y'all could have done this, okay? So putting it up to the light, it's a little less opaque than I thought it was going to be. But they could have done like the frosted look. And I've seen some of the other nails done like that, where it's like a frosted instead of like, what is it? Frosted matte nail. That's what it's called. 
and it gives more of the vibe that these nails are in the picture versus these. <sighs> Maybe this is just a little throw on a go nail for the beautiful nail. I'm not sure, but I just feel like they could have executed this a little bit better. Okay. And this is such an easy nail that they could have done it better. Anyways, the printing on this is nice. The black and the white look very solid. This is going to be a pink nail. And the white is printed on the pink. And then the black is printed on top of that. And then for the white cow print, that is just going to be printed on top of the pink nail. So the nails are, like I said, they're not as opaque as I thought they were. But that, that like matte would have just set it off. So if you want them to look more like the picture, I would put a matte top coat on these. But these are cute for some cow print nails. You can mix and match these if you have other nails that are the same shape. Um, and then, like I said, just put a matte top coat on this, a matte gel top coat on top of this, and you'll be good to go for it to look more like the picture. But these are cute. A Zala or 71 says, I can't complain, okay? I can critique, but I can't complain. Next up, this is what I ordered and this is what I got. These are the 24 piece press one nails, warm coffin butterfly wearable full nails and they were $2.27. Now, these got some details on them, honey, okay? We saw from the picture, they're gonna have some rhinestones, some gems, if you will. Oh, and it came with glue? I have never, okay, never got glue with these nails like this because they be so cheap they don't be adding the glue honey okay the printing on this is very nice there's different size butterflies which is cute the butterflies on the accent nails seem to be the same so you're going to have the same kind of pattern of butterfly on the accent nails the placement of the rhinestones is good it's not going to go all the way to the tip of the nail here there's just like a little bit of space if you don't like that maybe you can snip it off but from at least this nail here, the rhinestones don't go straight across. So the nail, if you do cut it, it might be a little crooked. So maybe you shouldn't do that. Okay, moving on. They only have, I think they only have two rhinestone nails in here. I thought they would have more because most times they at least have like four, I would say. Let me make sure before I start lying on these people. Okay, so this set is very butterfly nail heavy. Other than the ones that you see here, these four nails, there are no other nails that don't have butterflies on them. So if you are not a butterfly girl, or if you just wanted like a little accent of butterfly, that, these ain't the nails for you, okay? I didn't know that it was gonna be so many butterfly nails. I thought it was gonna be at least a few more of these, like at least two more of these and two more of those. Like, what if these ain't my size? You gonna be SOL. Anyways, the glue is a little messy. It is what it is, I guess. I can see the bubbles in this glue on this one where there's all of these things. Again, I'm like right here, okay? I'm very close on these nails. Um, the nail is gonna be semi-transparent pretty transparent nail so again if you use glue that like builds up underneath the nail you're going to either have to brush it on or do the gel set you know what i'm talking about you do the little you put the gel glue on and then you set the nail with the glue do that okay and yeah put a top coat on these per usual the rhinestones they don't seem like they're going to move these I ain't even talk about the nail thickness, y'all. I didn't got through all these nails. Anyways, these nails are pretty thick. Um, at least the one with the rhinestones is. They bend a little bit when I press them at the midpoint of the nail, but they're about average thickness. So I've seen some thin nails and these aren't really thin. So these are nice. It's just got a lot of butterflies on them, honey. Okay. Next up, this is what I ordered and this is what I got. These are the 24 piece artificial nail with glue. Hmm. fake nail tips with design and they were a dollar and 59 cents okay now these are from the false nail they have not been doing too well in this haul okay shake my head shake my head shake my head oh my gosh false nail what are we doing okay let's start with the pros that's where we can start let's start with the pros the ombre is nice 
beautiful ombre on these nails, honey, okay? Gorgeous. Now, in the last haul, I got a pair of purple nails that had kind of like a lattice design on them. And at each of the cross sections, there was a rhinestone. That is what these nails are also supposed to have. They do not have that, okay? They just decided we're going to put the rhinestones on a few of the intersections. Not all of them, like the design requires. Just a few of them. This accent nail, false nail, I'm coming for you. Because this haul alone, are you serious right now? The glitter on this looks like moss or something. It's ugly, okay? It is ugly. I don't like it. It's like thicker pieces in some areas. Like there's like bigger pieces of the glitter and then it's like a thin, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Some of the areas is a little bit like sparse, like this one. This flick of the wrist though is much better than that gold was. The designs on this is nice and like opaque as far as this white flower is concerned. And the same with this design as well. Y'all ought to be shrinked, okay? Because there are intersections here, 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 at the top here. They pretty much got all the rest of them, but they just stopped all along this side of the nail. They were just like, who needs to put the rhinestones there? Who cares? I care, false nail, okay? Because this look a hot mess. The glue on this is very messy as well. False nail. Y'all was doing good. Uh, y'all was at like a B. This haul right here has taken y'all down to a C, honey. Y'all went on a whole letter grade. I should give y'all a C minus for this crap. But it's just not it. It ain't it at all. Like, what was y'all thinking with this? Like, ooh, this is going to be good. This, this is ready to go. It is not. It should not have passed inspection. The other nail, the glue is even worse. Thank God there's only two of these in here, but usually the accent nails are the, the size that I need to use. Let me see. These nails don't even have sizing in them. False nail. Throw the whole thing away. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Y'all should be shamed. Shamed! Next up, this is what I ordered and this is what I got. These are the 24 piece artificial nails with glue because they ain't coming with glue. I don't know why I said it is. Okay. Fake nail tips and they were $1.24. These are cute. The design, y'all know I love an abstract design. Okay. I don't have any abstract nails this colorway. And I was like, these are cute. Let me try these out. The lines are a little bit more vibrant, but the printing on this is way better than the other nails. It goes all the way from tip to tip, end to end. Okay. There are a few areas where it's a little bit lighter, but not as bad as the previous pair that we've seen, okay? But these are cute. They're giving what the nails were giving in the photo for, you know, less than $2. And this pink isn't going to rub off. When I say the pink, I mean the actual nail is not going to rub off because that is the color through and through of the nail. This one does have sizing. Don't know why the other ones didn't but these do. And yeah, this green is really pretty. I love this color green. You know what I'm saying? Let me get a little lime green chartreuse situation. So these are gorgeous. Really, really do love these. I do feel as though like some of the lines get a little thick and a little messy. Like this one, it seems as though it's supposed to be like a swoop. And then there's like a empty space here. I don't know what that's about, but you know, they're cute. Like I said, the printing looks really good. You're definitely going to need a top coat on these. You can do, you know, a matte top coat on top of these because this is going to be a matte nail. If you want to try to spice it up, do a glossy. That's your business. Y'all still let us see. But these are cute. Next up, this is what I ordered and this is what I got. These are the 24-piece V-shaped, because they ain't V-shaped. I don't know why I said that. French artificial nails with glue blue rhinestones that must just be the blanket name of the thing uh and they were a dollar and 55 cents because these ain't got a lick of rhinestones on them honey. these are giving me very 70s vibes and i'm here for it okay the color is definitely giving that barbie color that we saw in the last haul but they're cute these 
these would be my little spring nail. I always do that. I'm like, what season would I wear these nails in? These would be a spring nail with like a 70s outfit. These are cute. Now, this Barbie nudish color, whatever this is, is going to be the color through and through the nail. Again, these are from False Nail Professional, okay? They did a much better job on these nails than they did on the other ones. They all got two in a row now. That's good. You know, <laughs> keep it up. <laughs> the lines are crisp. They're clean. There's no bleeding that I see. The dots look really nice. They're pretty opaque. There is a little striation in the white dots, but it's not like horrible. Um, I think once you put the top coat on them, they should be fine. But these are a pretty nail. I like these a lot. They're giving what the picture is giving, okay? Not like someone handed them for you, but it's looking close enough to the picture, okay? These are gonna be a thick nail. I feel like every time there's a matte nail, they're pretty thick. This purple is gorgeous, honey. Yeah, these are not bending in the middle, barely at the tip or at the cuticle. So these are going to be a nice sturdy nail. Oh, wait a minute. Y'all didn't see this. I didn't see this. They got like a little pinky glitter nail. And this like purple color. <laughs> That's cute. I don't know if you're going to see that when you put the top coat on it though. Because the glitter is quite faint. It almost looks like uh, just like an iridescent dust, if you will. So you may not see that with the top coat. Try it on one of the nails that you don't need to see if it comes through because that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, but these are cute. I would recommend these. Now, some of the previous ones, I don't know. But these, these are good. Next up, this is what I ordered and this is what I got. These are the 24 piece artificial nails with glue fake nail tips. Okay, and they were all over 80 cents. Side note, this is the first time I'm using nails with any kind of like, you know, attachments, accoutrements, if you will, glued on. And it makes it so much more difficult to do things. I don't know how y'all do it. Anyways, okay, they're pretty now. This ombre is quite subtle and quite light. The one that's like on the main finger here, like I wish the white was just maybe a little bit darker so you can see that more of a gradient because it kind of just is very faint, very, very faint. There is like a iridescent glitter on top of it. Again, once you put the top coat on it, I don't know what that's going to be giving okay there is like a silver on top of the white for these hearts which isn't bad much better with the flick of the wrist than the previous nails the glue on this is much better as well because the other ones was looking real messy and but you're going to need a top coat on this so you're going to have to figure out how to paint around these rhinestones if you don't want to just you know you could be lazy and just paint over them that's on, that's on you I might be doing that, okay? I think they just put this like iridescent glitter polish on top of the nail to make it that bluish color. Um, so yeah, there isn't a lot of glitter or anything in the package. So I don't think the glitter is really gonna be coming off like that. It's just more of the paint underneath or the print underneath, like this white underneath that might rub off. Um, but do what you want, you know what I'm saying? But I just don't think that these, I don't know if it's gonna come through that much. Like once you put the top coat on it, the ones that have like that blue iridescent -y kind of feel on top, or it could bring it out more. Who knows? Like if you do just like a glossy top coat, maybe it will bring it out some more. But these are cute. The nail base is gonna be pink. They are pretty thick. Pretty sturdy, honey. I can bend it a little bit at the cuticle, not much anywhere else. So these are a good thick nail. Um, sizing is included. Now that we gotta check that, I didn't even know that was a thing. But yeah, these are pretty nails. Y'all still let us see for the mother trifling nails. Next up, this is what I ordered and this is what I got. This is the 24 piece V-shaped French artificial nail glue blue rhinestones and they were two dollars and ten cents now these do have a lot of rhinestones on them the only ones that's going to have the rhinestones are the ones here that you see so everything else is going to be a plain nail that's not the set though who makes these nails whoever makes these nails 
Ooh, this is a beautiful nail. I ain't never noticed that. It's a beautiful nail right there. They're trying to make it small. This y'all discount line? What's this? Why so? Why you even try to make it so small that we can't see? Okay, beautiful nail. I'm just saying. The way the picture is, I'm supposed to have four nails. All four of these nails are supposed to be rhinestones and this one's supposed to be plain. That's how they did design. That's how they wanted it to, to be done. Now, if my four nails are not these size, I can't have the same design. So the only ones that should be plain is the thumb. Nobody's thumb is a size seven. At least I don't think so. You should only make the thumb ones not have the rhinestones on it. These other ones should have rhinestones on it. So if you are a person who doesn't want a full set of rhinestones, you can use these because it's not going to be a full set. It's only going to be these full work that you see right here. So if you're not them sizes, I don't know what to tell you. You're going to have some plain nails. Um, so that's the downside of these. They do seem as though they are on here quite sturdy, honey. These are a thin nail. These are thin, honey. I can basically like press this almost flat. Beautiful nail. Not only did you only give me eight ones, you gave me these flimsy nails. So these are going to be a, a more flimsy nail by your own risk. Okay. That's what these are. Lastly, this is what I ordered and this is what I got. These are the 24 piece mixed color match super long corp and false nail and they were 88 cents. So I think these nails are meant to be bought in like bulk or like multiple colors at one time so that you can mix and match them and not just have like a plain color set. But if you want to buy the colors and wear them just at one time, then you can do that as well. I love sets like this because they just throw on and go. I don't have to worry about a top coat or anything like that because the color of the nail is the color that you see. It's not painted on and they're gorgeous. So these are going to be a little translucent. They are like lighter towards the cuticle than they are towards the tip, which I like, you know what I'm saying? It has a little dimension to it otherwise plain nail. These are going to be on the thinner side. They're not as thin as that last pair of nails because I can't press the tip of the nail, but I can press the cuticle flat. Um, on some of the wider nails, it's a little bit harder for the, some of the smaller nails, but these are pretty. I really like how they're like lighter up here. And the reason why is because they are going to be thinner towards the cuticle than they are at the tip. But, you know, that's just what it comes with the nails. These are tabs. So you are going to have to file the tip of the nail once you break them off. And these are pretty and they feel really nice. They feel like kind of like that velvety kind of like softness kind of feel. But I would love to get some more of these and mix and match them because I think that would be fun, especially if I can find some other colors that are close to this color to do kind of like an ombre tonal effect on the nails if you will so i'll definitely be buying more of these because these are gorgeous so that is it that is my entire aliexpress nail haul and there were some hits and there were some missiles honey okay it got better towards the end because that beginning half was will touch and go okay to say the least again i'll make sure to put all of the links in the description box below since you made it this far you might as well join the tribe of baddies on a budget honey and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're the first to be notified every time i post a new video and you might as well follow me on tiktok and ig with all that being said watch this video that was picked specifically for you